The next life cycle is called the site life cycle and is defined with four phases pre site, site, post site, and site deploy. The site life cycle has no value without the Maven site plugin. The site plugin is used to generate the static HTML contents for a project. The generated HTML content will also include appropriate reports corresponding to that particular project. The site plugin defines eight goals and two of them are directly associated with the phases in the site lifecycle. Let's take a look at one of my favorite feature of this lecture, that is plugin development. Developing plugins for Maven is very straightforward. This section explains how to develop an example Hello Mojo plugin that will give you a taste of plugin development. As discussed earlier, a plugin is simply a collection of goals. Thus, when we we'll talk about plugin development, we are essentially talking about developing goals. In Java, these goals are implemented using Mojo, M-O-J-O, -O, which stands for Maven Old Java Object and it is similar to a, a Maven Pojo that is a Java's plain old Java object. But uh, let's start this plugin development by creating a Maven Java project and um, let's name it plugin or my plugin, whatever you prefer. I'm going to use a uh, plugin. Now remember we are again creating this by hand but Maven provides Maven Arch type Mojo to create plugins automatically but uh, you can learn more about this in the Maven documentation. So the first step in creating a new plugin is to define the Maven plugin dependency that will be used to create the plugin. So let's begin by creating the directory structure as we have seen in the previous lectures. So now you can see that I've created the required directory structure. Now I'm going to create a new pom.xml and I already took the liberty of copying the standard pom.xml from a previous project and just rename the artifact and we'll now save the file as pom.xml. If you look carefully, the packaging type is defined as maven plugin and we have named our artifact as final plugin and have given it a group ID as com.0.plugin. Basically, you can give uh, group ideas whatever you like, but it's generally uh, a standard practice to use the same Java package structure as you're using in your uh, Java classes. Next, we're going to add the dependency called Maven plugin API with a version number of 3.2.3. The next step in the de development process is creating the Mojo. It's a funny name I know, um, but the implementation for this is pretty straightforward. We are going to create a plugin that will log a message in the console. The most important part of this code is actually behind the Java comment section, add goal hello that you're just going to see in the demo right now. And uh, using the Java tag, uh, add goal we are declaring the name of this goal as hello and it is also possible to use a java annotation uh, as it was defined in the java 5 such as add mojo to define this metadata all right so let's create a java class inside the plugin folder and name it as hello mojo.java now add the required classes or import them abstract mojo mojo execution exception mojo fair exception next we are going to add an inherited method called execute which gets executed when you call the goal using the command line 
and we're going to add a statement that's going to print on the console. Oh, I forgot the most important part that is the mojo tag which defines the goal name. So, there. So, that completes our mojo class. Now comes the final step. The final step in this process is installing the plugin in the Maven repository. Run the maven install command at the root of the directory and you should get the output as you'll see in the next demo. So as you can see I got a build success message. And uh, the next thing I want to show you is um, the dependency that we just use and it's called, it should be called Mojo Extractor somewhere there. Uh, we use the Maven plugin plugin API and that's the output you'll see. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to copy this group ID and I'm going to type maven group ID followed by my artifact ID that is final plugin I would just paste it over here followed by the goal name which is uh, we defined in the class that's hello so there it goes and now you should see our output that we had that gets printed to the console that we defined in the class. So um, thank you again and I'll see you in the next lecture.